double integrals over non rectangular radius so in this section we will discuss how to evaluate double double integrals over the regions other than a rectangle regions so iterated integration with non constant limits of integrations so later in this session uh, we will see that double integrals over non rectangular non rectangular regions can often be evaluated as iterated integrals of the following types first one integral from a to b integral from g1 of x to g2 of x f of x y dy dx integrating the function f of x y with respect to y and limit of integration from a function of x to another function of x and it is a function of x again we we'll integrate that function with respect to x from a to b similarly integral from c to d h1 of y some function of y to some another function of y of f of x y dx dy is equal to integral of this function with respect to x treating y as a constant function we will get a function of y then we will integrate that function with respect to y from c to d so let's uh, look some examples evaluate integral from 0 to 1 minus x to x square y square x dy dx now this is nothing but the volume of the solid bounded below by the non rectangular region defined from defined as uh, x varying from 0 to 1 y varying from minus x to x square and above by the function y square x now as you can see here uh, so this is the graph bounded below by the rect non rectangular region x varying from x equal to 0 so the line x equal to 0 to the line x equal to 1 so the entire strip region and y varying from y equal to minus x to y equal to x square so this is the region double integral over this non rectangular region of the function x square y so integral of this function we will give you the geometrical meaning of this function or integration is volume of the solid bounded below by this non rectangular region and above by the function y square x and which is equal to integral from 0 to 1 minus x to x square y square x dy dx is equal to integral from 0 to 1 first integrate the function with respect to y integral of y square x with respect to y which is equal to y cube by 3x from minus x to x square y cube by 3x from minus x to x square now y varying from upper limit y is equal to x square so x square the whole cube x raised to 6 into x x raised to 7 by 3 plus or minus lower limit minus of lower limit y equal to minus x minus x whole cube equal to minus x cube into x equal to minus x raised to 4 so lower limit minus 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 x raised to four become x raised to plus x raised to four divided by three. Now again integrate the function with respect to x. X raised to eight by eight into three. X raised to eight by twenty four plus x raised to five by five into three. X raised to five by fifteen from zero to one. Upper limit one by four plus one by five minus zero equal to one by four plus one by fifteen, which is equal to thirteen by one. the volume of the solid bounded below by the non rectangular region and above by the function y square x is equal to 13 by 120 similarly double integral from 0 to pi by 3 0 to cos y x into sin y dx dy is equal to 
first integrate the function with respect to x with respect to x which is equal to x square by 2 into sin y treat y as a constant function so sin y is a constant function x square by 2 into sin y limit of integration x varying from 0 to cos y so cos square y into sin y divided by 2 cos square y into sin y divided by 2 minus lower limit x equal to 0 lower limit minus 0 so integral become integral from 0 to pi by 3 1 by 2 into cos square y into sin y d by now integrate the function with respect to y with respect to y now put cos y as equal to t cos y equal to t we will get cos y derivative of cos y sin y uh, derivative of cos x is equal to minus sin x or so derivative of cos y is equal to minus sin y so we can uh, replace cos y is equal to t so cos square y is equal to t square and sin y dy is equal to dt minus dt since derivative of cos y is equal to minus sin y so t is equal to cos y implies dt equal to minus sin y dy so minus dt is equal to sin y dy so which is equal to integral from 0 to pi by 3 1 by 2 into t cube uh, t square dt t square dt minus t square dt which is equal to integral of t square t cube by 3 so t is equal to cos y cos y cube divided by 3 3 into 2 equal to 6 so minus 1 by 6 into cos cube y from 0 to pi by 3 upper limit minus lower limit you will get 7 by 48 as the volume of the solid bounded below by the non-rectangular region defined as x varying from x varying from 0 to cos y y varying from 0 to pi by 3 y varying from 0 to pi by 3 y equal to 0 to y equal to pi by 3 x equal to 0 to x equal to cos y so this is the region shaded region y varying from 0 to pi by 3 x varying from 0 to cos y so a geometrical meaning of this integral is volume of the solid bounded below by this non-rectangular region and above by the function x into sin y. Now double integral over non-rectangular regions type 1 and type 2. So first type, a type 1 region is bounded on the left and right by vertical lines x equal to a and x equal to b and is bounded below and above by the functions g1 of x and g2 of x where g1 of x is less than or equal to g2 of x for a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b similarly type 2 y varying from c to d x varying from h1 of y to h2 of y where h1 of y is less than or equal to h2 of y for c less than or equal to y less than or equal to d. So these are the two types. Now double integral if uh, r is a region type 1 region on which f of x y is continuous then double integral over r f of x y dA double integral over r first one type 1 double integral over r this region r f of x y da is equal to integral from x varying from a to b y varying from g1 of x to g2 of x f of x y d dy dx dy dx type 1 integral from a to b g1 of x to g2 of x f of x y dy dx Similarly, for type 2, y varying from this, the double integral over r f of x y d is equal to 
double integral y varying from c to d x varying from h1 of y to h2 of y f of x y dx. Now first case uh, x varying from x equal to a that means x equal to a is a straight line which is parallel to y axis. Now move the uh, line from left to right x equal to a up to x equal to b. We will get entire strip region. Then we will restrict that function or uh, restrict the region into this region or by uh, defining y varying from y bottom of this line touch on this line y equal to g1 of x and top of this line on y equal to g2 of x. Now take a strip or line which is parallel to y axis then move the uh, line from a to b then bottom to top left to right bottom to top. So this is type 1 type 2 uh, this is also type 1 type 1 case for type 2 y varying from so take a strip or line which is parallel to x axis y equal to a to or y equal to c to y equal to d move the line from bottom to top and left of the line is touch on the line y y h1 of y and a right side of the line on h2 of y so integral from y varying from c to d x varying from h1 of y to h2 of y take a strip which is parallel to x axis move it from bottom to top now one example another example evaluate double integral over r 2x minus y square ta over the triangular region r enclosed between the lines y equal to 1 minus x y equal to 1 plus x y equal to 3. So first draw the uh, picture or draw the region r y equal to 1 minus x the line y equal to 1 minus x the line y equal to 1 plus x and the line y equal to 3. So this is the region bounded between these three lines y equal to 1 minus x y equal to 1 plus x y equal to 3. This is the region. Now the question is to find double integral over this region r of the function 2x minus y square d. That means find the volume of the solid bounded below by the triangular region r defined by this uh, inequalities or defined or enclosed between these two three lines and above by the function f of x y is equal to 2x minus y square. Now first take a strip which is parallel to x axis parallel to x axis moving from bottom to top that means y equal to so this is the point where x equal to 0 and y equal to 1. So take a strip or line which is parallel to x axis move it from bottom to top y equal to 1 to y equal to 3. So y varying from 1 to 3 y varying from 1 to 3 and x varying from left to right left of this line on this uh, curve that means on this line and this equation of this line is equal to y equal to 1 minus x or x equal to 1 minus y. So x varying from 1 minus y to right of right which is equal to y equal to 1 plus x or x equal to y minus y. So x varying from 1 minus y, 1 minus y to y minus y. Left to right, left of this line to right of that line 1 minus y to y minus 1 x varying from 1 minus y to y minus 1 y varying from 1 to 3 of the function 2x minus y square dx dy now integrate the function 2x minus y square with respect to x equal to integral of uh, 2x x square by 2 into 2 
So to get cancelled, x square minus y square into integral of y square equal to x, y square x from one minus y to one dy. Upper limit minus lower limit, you will get two y square minus two y cube as your integrand and the limit of integration from one to three. Again, integrate the function two y square that is two y cube by three minus two y cube two into y raised to four by four. 4, 2 get cancelled equal to y raised to 4 by 2 from 1 to 3. Upper limit minus lower limit, you will get minus 68 by 3 as the solution. 